Yeah, it's my first time going back, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> uh, I like it, Cog. I like it. Yeah, it's my first time going back into the Grimpy World with the Hitbox, so. We'll see how it turns out. I mean, it's all we can do, right? Oh, all right. Let's get all grind on. I guess just tweet out. <laughs> I should do the the professional gamer thing and tweet it out. Okay, hold up. Don't need those, don't need those. I'm just trying to delete some notes here. <laughs> God, I really need to go through this notepad. How many lines do I have of info? 437 lines. What the heck, dude? So much stuff on this. All right. Uh, enough stalling. Enough stalling. <sighs> See how this goes. <laughs> I forgot this starts out like immediately with a uh, with a double shell jump. Oh my gosh. All right. This is also the first time I've played with um, these uh, cherry switch buttons. Like, they're definitely... They're a little different. They're a little different. Yo, Dark Rit. Yeah, back to ouchie time, man. They definitely sound different. It's gonna take me a little bit, because I'm gonna have to get really comfortable with this. How's it going, Dark Ray? How you doing today? Okay, hold on. Also, I don't like the color of this. I'm trying to do a new color for like the sub goal, follower gold kind of thing, and I don't like it. I don't like it! So we're gonna revert, hold up. Like I was checking it out, I was like, yeah, this is fine, this is fine, it looks terrible. Crystal Rando skipped an item and got obviously destroyed. Oof -a doof. -a. Feels bad, man. Got absolutely destroyed because it that's really lame, but I mean like it depends I guess it depends on like what type of item it was, right? I mean what did you end up forgetting? I haven't I haven't played Crystal all the way through. That's one of those games I want to play for sure. It was a weird sequence for item checks you did. I think I'm going too quick. Ah, okay. 
No, you need the pokey gear. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna have to do that left, the right, then the left. I think I was doing that before. Let's see. <laughs> Lillers. How did chaos go? Uh, well, it was chaos. I mean, it was an experience. So I managed to kill um, the second Bowser before the first Bowser, because um, chaos. Um, hold up. Oh, so I killed the second Bowser for the first Bowser, and I think I ended up with like 16 stars, maybe. Eldad beat the first Bowser like first try, which is ridiculous because I crashed every time I got him. Um... Hey! Shush! So anyways... <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so anyways, I spent three hours on Bowser 1. Because every time I got the Bowser, uh, the game would crash. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, back to Purgatory and saying, uh, definitely. Back to Purgatory! How you doing, Insane Guy? Say, I mean, like... I spent like three hours on Bowser 1. And then I finally got... To like, do some other stuff. Eldad did not beat Bowser 2, so... Yeah, I don't know. But he's got like 30-something stars. I don't know, Cog. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll see. So it's a definite, we'll see. Ugh. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's pretty rough sometimes. It gets pretty wild. Like, when everything starts coming to you, it really sucks. Like, there's rare instances where that's fine. <sighs> Alright. Alright, PB on the hitbox. I'm cool with that. Yeah, like... <sighs> You gotta play Pong sometimes, you gotta do like... Yeah, when you grab a star from it, it's cool. But it's definitely very, very ridiculous. It's super ridiculous. I mean, like, I don't have a problem finishing it, but like... Hi, yeah, it's gonna take several weeks. It's probably gonna take three or four weeks to beat, I think. Unless, unless Link Dead gets like super lucky and can beat Bowser 2 and 3, like, free. I don't think so. I think at some point we're both going to end up at the last Bowser and we're just going to be like whoever beats it first wins, basically.
But I'm happy that I'm getting this double shell jump. Well, I mean, I'm gonna have to get good at this, right? That's the only way I'm gonna advance. I do like the feel of these new buttons, though. These cherry switch uh, mechanical buttons. They actually do feel nice. Like, they definitely feel nice. So that's cool. They're just like, so they're like mechanical keyboard, basically. They're not like actual keys, but they're like buttons using the same, like... I don't know what the correct term for it is, but... They have like the same feel. As like a mechanical keyboard. Which is nice. Because the only thing that, the only issue I have with like Sanwa buttons being on the, like... You know, like, run buttons and all that stuff, is that, uh, they're very light to activate, right? And they activate very early in the press. So, sometimes it, they'll fire when you don't want them to fire. And other times they'll, you know, they're, like, really... The, well, the main issue is them firing when you don't want them to fire. Trying to get past that block. Holy heck. <clears throat> that Kaizo block is too... Man, that Kaizo block is so rude. Back on that Grand Pooh World grind. Let's go. I mean, it'd be really cool if we get a midway tonight. But, you know, I'm not holding my breath here. <laughs> if I can get at least somewhat proficient in, like, a lot of this stuff, I'll be happy. I'll be very happy if I can get proficient in a lot of the stuff we have to do in this level. So I'm trying to think of like all this stuff that needs to be done. It's like it's been it's been a, wa a hot minute since I've played this. Double shell jumps like the worst thing ever to do on hitbox. It feels weird. It just feels very, very weird. So I ended up picking up some what I thought were um like blank covers, right? For holes that you didn't want to put buttons in. Uh turns out they aren't. Uh, they are actually for replacing the plungers in the buttons themselves. So that's cool. Got a bunch of those now that I don't need. <laughs> I only needed like four, so I ended up putting just my extra buttons in there, I guess. Like to fill the holes so that Louis stuff doesn't like just fall into the, bo the, the thing, you know? How it's actually sealed. So I had like four spots that were just empty. But yeah, cool, cool, cool. 
Yeah, these have a these buttons have a little bit more resistance, which is cool. But in Chaos SM64, I think I only got like two stars from like the the vacuum or the tornado thing going on. I mean, like I've almost collected all eight red coins because of the tornado. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the whole thing was a mess, though. Like, everything, everything is going wrong in Chaos SM64. Like, I'm happy it's not a randomizer, but I think it would have been, like, more stupid. <sighs> yeah, the amount of stuff that happens, like... As quickly as it does, it is insane. Sniper was talking about how we picked the default settings, but I don't know. No man, yo Alex Caliber, how you doing? Yeah, I'm talking about. I'm just kind of just just rambling right now, honestly. That's good. I mean, I'm I'm really glad I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was fun for the most part. Like, sure, I was whining, but I mean, overall, it was really fun. Being stuck in Bowser Bowser One for three hours really sucked, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna figure it out. I figure at this point though, we just gotta kind of you know ride it. I don't know. I don't know about changing, like, the frequency and stuff, because that puts, you know, all down at a distinct advantage if we do that, so. I don't know. I think we just gotta fight through it at this point. I can't believe I got warped to Bowser 3. I wish I could have beat that. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> that would have been actually hilarious. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think... I don't think at this point turning down the settings is... acceptable. We'd have to restart. Because, like, if we were to lower the settings, me having beaten Bowser 2 doesn't mean anything, right? So, I don't know. We'll have to see. I feel like, I feel like if we are going to play it again, I feel like we have to play it at the settings we currently have. You know? So... Uh, I didn't even know there were settings for it. Like, I guess that makes sense, but... I know the SMW one doesn't have any settings, it's just like, that is what it is, you know? But we'll see what happens. Eldad and I have to talk about it. Yeah, I don't I don't know what Sniper is talking about. I really don't. I don't think there are settings. I think that's just how it is, you know? And that makes sense, right? It's Chaos Edition. It can't be just limited chaos. Unless you do, like, a custom ROM set. But I don't know. Yo, Moose, how's it going, dude?
<laughs> Where did I do that? Ah! The normal jump. Building stairs on the deck? I'm doing all right, not too bad. Woke up at like freaking 7 p.m. today. What the shit, dude? Slept hell along. <laughs> Slept mad hours today. I mean, then again, I was up to like, you know, nine or 10, but you know, oof. Still, long sleep. Ah, uh, that's very late. Because I usually wake up at like three. At least try to, anyways. But I mean, after the 11 hour stream, right? Like, which is eight. You gotta wind down, so end up going to sleep at like nine or ten. So, I mean, seven isn't realistically that bad. I still slept in, but. Believe! Um, it's my first time playing on this with, through a, with a hitbox. So, I don't know. I want to believe, but... This game is also very hard. You know. able to watch any critical role today I'm hopefully gonna do it afterwards and get caught up on some other videos and stuff that's the plan that's the plan tonight I also have to figure out like what's wrong with uh, these videos I'm trying to render Yeah, I had a couple videos, like, I'm finishing up, um, the Storks, like, Midways and Exits, and also Gaijin Mario. But for some reason, DaVinci Resolve is like, yeah, I'm only gonna render, like, half of it, and then I'm just gonna stop. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense to me, but alright. Like, that's cool. Thanks, DaVinci. And, like, I don't know if it's, like, my, uh the video I'm trying to use, or what? Nah, disc isn't full. It's just stopping. Like, I don't know. Mm, no. I mean, I, like, made sure to only use, like, do, like, three videos at a time. Do I ever play Mario Maker occasionally? Um, I know I've been really bad about playing Mario Maker, Marquee. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happening with it. I gotta try some other stuff. Yo, Toons, how you doing, dude? Yeah, I need to play more Mario Maker, but at the same time, it's like, I'm trying to do... Get caught up on the never-ending backlog. Kaiser's of Quest is like forever long. <laughs> I need to get back and play some more Mario Maker for sure. Uh, too much stuff. Zero Maverick said hi. Yo, shout out to Zero Maverick. Yes, Mario Maker 2 physics are all based off of um, New Super Mario Brothers. Whereas the uh, physics in Super Mario World, the standard, 
um, are very, they're, they're really tight. Like, they're really good. I really like the physics in this game. Hiya. Still here and believing? <laughs> Y'all moose, have a good night, dude. But yeah, this this level this this hack in general is not easy, Tunes. Like, this hack is ridiculous. A lot of people don't even play this one, they just skip this one and go right to number two. Which is funny and also I understand, because this hack is really difficult. This hack is a struggle to get through sometimes. Like there's five or six levels that are just absolutely ridiculous. Like not, you know, not even counting this one. You want pizza? You can either make it or you can uh, you can order some. Or you can do what Resi does and do like a waffle pizza. I heard those are pretty good. Yeah, Dram, yeah, the OG. Yeah. Dram did a lot of, uh, like the original Kaizos, like Kaizo 1, 2, and 3. I don't know if he did anything beyond that, but yeah, Dram was a really good player. Dram was like a legend at uh, Super Mario World. Still is. Like, for sure. I got a lot of work to put in, you know? I gotta pay my dues, if you will. I got a long way to go on the Kaizo Quest. I checked yesterday. Right now, there's currently, um... 368 Kaizo hacks. So, since the last time I checked, there has been 18 new Kaizo hacks for, like, two weeks. Thanks, dudes. So... I just gotta keep chugging along, you know? I'm at, I think, like, 46 now. Because I took out, like, 11 hacks last week. 11 or 12 hacks last week. Yeah, I'm on number 46. I need to update my uh, log, but this one's number 29 just because I started it back then. And Waterworld's number 30, and I gotta keep working on that one. I think I managed to unplug my speakers. I'll do it later. Yeah, I got, I got a long way to go it's before I get, like, you know, really good. Just keep putting in time. I mean, that's all Kaizo is, is, like, you know, just keep practicing, keep playing. You will get better. Because, the you know, you're playing harder and harder hacks, right? And as you conquer them, you level up. Just the main thing with Kaizo is it's all time, you know? It's all time. And, you know, just not giving up. Don't get discouraged. If you need to take a step back and, like, play something easier, there's no shame in it. Like what I did last week on the Hitbox, because I was learning how to play on it. Like, I didn't want to jump in on Hitbox on this, on this game. That would be ridiculous. Ooh. 
PB. We're almost to where I am in the level with the controller, so, I mean, that's not bad. I'll take this. You thought only fighting game players use Hitbox. That is the original um, intention for them, but um, I did construct one for use with the Super Nintendo. The point being is that the hitbox is much more ergonomic for me. Like, it's a lot easier on my hands than the controller. I have big hands, so like... You know, there's a lot of stress there on my hands, so... Having it to where it's more like a keyboard um, helps a lot for me. It's much more precise because I have, again, big hands, so I tend to fat finger inputs. So that helps as well. So as I as I get more comfortable playing with this, right, it'll be it'll be easier to do stuff. But yeah, there's a thing called a um, a Brooks retro board that I'm using um, to convert the uh, the signals of the buttons to um, Super Nintendo. Yo, Henry Chu Shoes, how you doing tonight, dude? Oh, what a cute dog, though. Henry C. Pizza, I love it. <laughs> dog on pizza. Slow day at work, let's go. I always found that, like, uh... Slayers at work were, like, good, but they also sucked. That's not good? You're the owner? Oh, okay. Well, that's not great, then. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, that's not good for you. Daigo walked into a tournament holding a hitbox, and... Yoshinori, oh, no. Yo... <laughs> Put him in a headlock? Why is that? What? What the heck? I don't blame Daigo for playing on a hitbox. If he did. I haven't watched FGG, FGC stuff for like... Probably three or four years. I need to, uh, I need to get back in it. Especially now that tournaments are hopefully happening again. Oh, he does. Yeah, well, I mean, it makes sense because it's 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 more accurate. <laughs> Hold on, I got you, tunes. I got you. Hold up. <laughs> I need to put a link to my uh, Twitch schedule. in there. So that way it can be converted to people's local times. Basically, yeah. It's, it's basically 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Right? On Tuesdays, on Tuesdays and Saturdays is a little different, but if you come here at like 9 p.m., I'm pretty much here. Except for Monday. But, you know, that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, I'm like not even surprised a lot of hitbox, hitbox players or a lot of FGC players who want a hitbox. It's just more accurate. And also, um, I do not, Henry, no. I'm giving this a whirl for the moment, I'm trying to see how if it works out. No, I would die if I had a day job too. Like, that'd be insane. <laughs> to be quite honest. Yeah, because it's like, I stream like, 54 hours, and then, I, it's like around there, give or take, and then like, it depends on how long I spend editing and stuff, so. Yeah, no, if I did, that'd be crazy. I'd have like, no time to sleep. <sighs> Mario 35 gameplay with, uh, kinds of ROMs, that'd be cool. But I don't think I don't think Nintendo wants um 
Nintendo wants games to be this hard, you know? I mean, I would play it. I think it'd be baller. Mario 35 Kaizo, let's go. <laughs> let's heck and go. No participation, that's fair. I never even played Mario 35. <clears throat> the baby Kaizos. I mean, I'd probably check it out for sure. There you go. Yeah, I, I didn't really get into it. Like, I know they have like, they had like Pac-Man 99 or whatever and like all stuff. Yeah, Mario 35 is gone now. I don't know why they took it away. That doesn't make any sense, but all right, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's up with this whole like, you know, limited time only thing going on, right? It's like that Mario 64, uh, Sunshine, and Galaxy set, right? Like, why was that a limited time only thing? Well, right, but you still have to pay for their online services, Henry. I have not played Galaxy 1 and 2 tunes. It's on my list. Uh, I want to do Sunshine and get all 50, um, what are they called? Shines? I, I did my Wii got jacked when I was younger. So. Yeah. I was, like, tempted to buy the All-Star package, but... Eh... At the same time, it's like I already I have those games technically already. So like I don't need to pay for them again. Right? I I'm not getting all blue coins. That's stupid. All blue coins is a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. Like, I'll do, I'll do all 50 shines, but like, oofa doofa. It's still on the shelves at Target? I'm not surprised. It's like it's tempting, but at the same time, like, if they had Galaxy 2 on there as well, I'd pick it up. But the fact that they don't have Galaxy 2 on there is like, hmm, like, it's kind of bad. I don't know why you put the first one on there, but not the second one, but all right. I'm sure they'll release something like that again. I am super interested in that uh, Game & Watch, though. That's really freaking cool. Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and Link's Awakening. <sighs> Shit. I think they got me for 60, to be honest. That's really cool. I haven't played Zelda 1 or Zelda 2, but I love The Link's Awakening. Yeah, they just upscaled it. That's what they did with most stuff. I guess, I didn't think it caught, like, basically it was just an emulator. Yeah, it doesn't make sense why they didn't include Galaxy. It really doesn't. Or Galaxy 2, I should say. <sighs> yeah, I've no idea.
the Galaxy series is the best. I'm looking forward to playing them. I don't know, like, if I'm gonna 100% them or not, but we'll see. I think it'd be fun, but... We'll see what happens. When it comes to Mario games, I'm usually okay with 100%ing them. I mean, except for, you know, like, blue coins. That's dumb. I'm cool off that, but... I guess see if my Wii even works still. <laughs> really neat game, yeah. Backwards compatibility? Is that what you're saying, Tins? Well, I, I have a Wii and a Wii U. Oh, blue coins. Okay. Dark Root. Moose hooked me up with his uh, his Wii U, so I have that. And then I've had a Wii for a long time. I just never used it really, so I gotta check and make sure if like everything's up to date because I probably need to update it because I have the cool version. <laughs> That's the easiest way to say it is I have the cool version of Wii. <laughs> um Yeah, I might use the Wii U to play GameCube. So I don't have to hook up the GameCube. So I have a, I have I have L Dad's GameCube. I'm I officially stolen it at this point. Oh, they don't work. Okay, I can play them on the Wii though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. I gotta, I gotta bust it out and like make sure everything's updated. Cause I should have like Metroid Prime and stuff on there as well, like the Prime trilogy. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's weak sauce. Oh my gosh, really? Come on! I mean, I hate that a lot of these systems aren't backwards compatible. It's like, you already own the games, right? Unless they're trying to, like, remaster them and sell them again, right? Which is also stupid, but...
Oh, look at this coffee to kick in, man. Jeez Louise. Disco shell. Ah. But I know the Wii U Virtual Console DVDs don't even work on the Wii U. What the heck? That's pretty wild. I didn't know that. What's funny, Tunes? You made a stream just to raid me and I wasn't on. Yo, rip. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment, though. <sighs> I mean, I try and, uh, I try and get on a little bit early, but... Can't always do that. Like, the official start time is definitely always 9. 9 Pacific Daylight Time. So yeah, tonight we're doing... I'm gonna try and do Grand Pool World all tonight. Because I want to get as much experience as I can in on this level. Because tomorrow... Tomorrow is basically Mario Golf all night. Like, if you don't like Mario Golf, sorry not sorry. But I'm playing the new Mario Golf tomorrow. Like, all night. We're gonna have a co-stream with El Dad when he uh, wakes up. And then we're gonna be playing more Mario Golf. I mean, <laughs> it looks it's it looks amazing. I am super excited for it. And I'm really hope, I really, really, really hope that Nintendo doesn't just absolutely shit the bed with it. That's fair, Hindenburg. That's totally fair, right? It's just, I like, I like golf games that are like lighthearted and Nintendo, Nintendo characters in golf, perfect, right? I don't want to play, you know, Tiger Woods golf or PGA golf cuz I don't know any of the, any of those people, right? <sighs> also, those games tend to be too serious, right? There's not any like speed golf modes or battle golf or, you know, hit the other person with your club, right? Which you can't do in Mario Golf, but anyways, but I'm just saying. Yeah, man. I look forward to it. Like, everybody's allowed to have their opinion. I mean, I'll have my opinion on it, too. Right? After I play it for a bit. Spin jump, Kaku. Come on.
Yes. The stream might be longer tomorrow. So, like, I might start, um... I might go till later. But we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. But what I'll probably do is that I'm playing um, Mario Golf on N64 until it's available. And then we'll swap over. Yeah, this level's pretty ridiculous. So, how you doing tonight? Ugh. Um, you have to throw one up, do a shell jump, well, shell wall jump with one of them, and then catch the other one and do it the same on the other side. <laughs> it's just practice. Right? That's what it boils down to. Like, you do it enough, and it's like, it gets a lot easier. Yeah, this level, this level is nuts. Like, for sure, this level is nuts. And the double, I mean, wall, shell jumps are, like, one shell jump for sure. The double definitely makes it harder. It's more precise, right? Because you have to do it twice in a row, in like the midair, which is kind of, kind of nuts. But yeah. I'll take the PB though. I'll take the PB. That's fine. I'll take the PB. For sure. Okay, Shell. All right. I see how you are. Oh my gosh. So I guess Yuna and Eldad got to like 50 today. Ugh. I'm four levels behind now. No. <laughs> I had to pick up the pace. Holy heck, dude. Get yeah, my wild WoW grind on. Note to self, playing once a week. It's not enough. You almost have epic flying? Damn. 
Dang. I gotta get it together. I gotta get it together. But I do think I'm I do think I'm gonna end up going Boomkin, I think. End game wise. 4300 gold, let's go. Almost there, Hindenburg. Going extra fast. Bear Tanker Retail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going Boomer, because I think it'll be fun. Because I don't want to tank. We'll see about- we'll see about healing, I mean, honestly. But... <sighs> yeah, it is, for sure. For sure, for sure. Yo, Tai Zhao, how you doing? Boing boing. <laughs> right, Zoldag. Retail well retail tanking's like a whole nother a whole nother thing, you know? I remember you talking about that, like, the hell of bugs, shenanigans that just cra did crazy damage. I don't think it was bug, but it felt blood. Yo, Skybills! Holy heckaroonies. Skybills with the sick raid, let's go. Yo, welcome everybody. Heck yeah. How'd the Pokemon go today, Sky? Ah! Pet the dog. I can do that. I can pet the dog. Let's go. Oh. Welcome, everybody. Lily! There, Lily. Lily! <laughs> Come on, Lily. Lily, work with me. <laughs> Lily, come here. Lily. She is not moving. She's on my right side. I am petting her. But she does not want to move. Lily has had enough of my nonsense today, alright? <laughs> yeah. Come here. Yeah. There she is. I lured her over with the promise of more pets. Lily's tired today. I agree with Lily on this one. She's tired. You know? Belly rubs. Yeah, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for the raid, Sky. Heck yeah. We're back on the Grand Poo World Grind. Get back in there. Yo, thank you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you. First time going to back into Grand Poo World on the hitbox, so. We're trying to put this together. 
So how did, uh, how did Pokemon Silver go today? I believe you were playing. If I'm not mistaken. Ugh. Dang it. <laughs> so I have to throw that block up and then bounce, like, activate it and then hopefully not die. That's the plan. Yeah, Lily loves, Lily loves the scritches. She's definitely just today, just done with it. I feel her on that one. Today's been an extra lazy day. Not gonna lie. Me, my, my partner and I slept super late. Lolly slept super late, so. She's right now biding her energy to bark, basically. Gotta conserve the barks. I love this dab emote. <laughs> oh, man. So is anybody excited for Mario Golf tomorrow? I know I am. That's what we've been kind of talking about it here and there. But like, I'm super excited for Mario Golf. Golf. Need my golf fix. Ah. I'm so re I'm ready for it tomorrow. That's what we're doing. We're doing that all tomorrow since it releases when I start streaming. So <laughs> just I'm just playing golf tomorrow. We shouldn't have to wait for stores open to get a physical. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I just bought digitally because that way I could preload it and stuff and I don't have to worry about it. I mean, that made the most sense for me, right? Like, if I didn't stream until the day after with Mario Golf, I'd get it physically, but... It releases the same day for me, so whatever, right? Not too bad. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to golf tomorrow, though. Like, I've already heard some people say they want to go charge and chuck. Ugh. Stealing the best tune, man. Best character. I might have to change it up. I might play King Bomb or something. Unless you can have multiple people pick the same character. You stick with Yoshi. I mean, we'll see who's the best, right? I'm probably gonna have to unlock everybody. I guess we'll see how that works out. <laughs> True, Dark Lady. Like, I, I, I tend to prefer having the physical version myself, but it's just a matter of like, can it get to me in like a decent amount of time? Like if I'm pre-ordering something, which I don't usually do. But if I pre-order something, then I'll probably just get the digital version. But if I'm buying it late, like later, I'll get the physical version. I know, Dark Rit. I'm taking the leap. I'm taking the leap, Dark Rit. Pre-ordering is definitely a trap, like 99% of the time. I know that, for sure. I I mean, I like, I've been burned by pre-orders so much that, like, I, I don't pre-order games very often. Um, the only games I will pre-order are, like, Mario games or something like that. That's pretty much the only time I'll pre-order a game.
Because, like, I don't feel like Nintendo themselves is going to really mess it up. Right? Right. From, like, a content creator perspective, like, me being able to play it at release will hopefully pay off. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't matter. It doesn't particularly matter. I'm still playing golf either way, right? Because I love the game, but we'll check it out. We'll check it out. You pre-order for discounts? Yeah, like, most stuff... Most general games, I'll wait... a couple months before I even consider it. Because I, I generally don't like ordering a game right as it comes out, because it could just be a disaster. Prime 4 pre-order? Now due out, uh... December, um... 2030 or something? Chill out, killers. Don't need to get all... Don't need to put away the pitchforks, chat. Jeez Louise. Pokemon in general has been good. Everybody's gonna have opinions on it. Because it was 20% off? That's not bad. I mean, you know. Yeah, Amazon has been taking away a lot of stuff. Yo, TJ. How you doing tonight? Get that hydrated. Here in a second. <sighs> they made plushies for every Pokemon through Gen 3. That's pretty impressive. That's a lot of plushies. I mean, realistically. How many Pokemon is that? Like, through Gen 3? That's a lot. Holy heck. But yeah, uh, Rush, I am not surprised they took away those deals. Like, they don't even do two-day shipping anymore. Not for me, anyways. Your sister went insane and bought a 48-inch life-size slowpoke? That sounds baller. Well, definitely over 150, right? Because Gen 1 was 151. 386. Holy crap. I mean, Slowpoke is pretty dope. Let's be honest. You can't, you can't diss Slowpoke. Close enough, Rush. <laughs> there was the ish there. You're safe. It's weird how Mew is kind of part of the game in general, but at the same time not, because no way to get it in-game without cheating 
Unless you attended some conventions. I mean, it's canon now, right? Mew is definitely part of the 151, original 151. Yeah, you just had to use strength. Oh, really? That's cool. That's really cool, Rush. I don't think we had any Pokemon events around me to do something like that. But that would be really cool. <clears throat> Did they just, like, take your cartridge and, like, transfer you something? You follow a specific guide? Huh. I've never- I've never looked it up, like, how to do it and stuff. Like, walking very specific in-game paths? Interesting. Hmm. I wouldn't say that's hacking. Clever use of game mechanics. <laughs> that's what I would call it. Oh, I'd have to see it. I don't think I've watched that one, so I'd have to check it out. <clears throat> Ouch. Feels real bad. What do you even get for completing the Pokédex? Is it like... Anything cool, or...? Well, yeah, that's a lot of time. I mean, 128 Pokémon is... That's a long time to deal with, you know? Ah, you get a certificate you can print off in the Game Boy printer. Yo, Trisha, thank you so much for the bits. Heck yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very generous. The respect of your peers in middle school. Even in general, they were upset on the printer, yeah. Oh, rip. Rip! Ah! <laughs> well, I can't give it back, unfortunately. I wish I could, but I can't. That's that's on Twitch's end. Well, Ripperoonies. <laughs> well, But yeah, I never I never got the Game Boy printer. I think I've seen one though, but like I've never used it. Cause I know you could do stuff with like There was some stuff in like Link's Awakening you could do with the printer. There's like pictures you could print out and stuff. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the photographer side content thing, yeah. You could put food by foot into the printer instead of paper, and then eat the Pokemon you print out. <sighs> Hindenburg, is that how you get- is that how you became so strong? 
It was by eating ink on fruit by the foot. Paper to go in the printer? Yeah. That's disgusting. It's a thermal printer? Well, you can have, you can have, you can, you can stick up your printer with delicious fruit by the foot and then you just eat the printer. Don't eat the Pikachu! Look, it's Pikachu's fault for tasting like a lemon, okay? Electric lemon. You can use cash register paper, but you have to cut it down to the proper size. Okay. Eat the Tauros. Eat the Tauros! Delicious. Yeah, Pikachu has a shocking flavor. <laughs> Tastes like rat jam. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez Louise. Eat a Pikachu with its mouth open, the taste may surprise you. Oofa doofa. Hi ya! Time for puns. Ugh. Jeez Louise. Trying to like get my focus on here. Kinda I'm kinda doing that thing where like I get stuck in like autopilot. No puns! This is a pun-friendly zone. We like puns here. As long as they're fresh puns. I don't want any day-old puns. Yo, Thingalizzy, how you doing? Nah, not that I remember. I mean, I could have missed it, let's be honest. Not allowing puns is a punt. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Trying to put this together, man. Oofa doofa. Now all of a sudden I can't get this shell jump. Then you hopped on magic? I mean, that's fine. No big deal. Did you punt? I'm not a punter, man. Rhetorical question. I'm really good at answering rhetorical questions, you know? You gotta go out of your way to answer them. Yeah, I mean, I gotta get back on Magic the Gathering one of these days, too. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, a woodchuck would chuck. I don't remember the rest of that.
Too late getting through there. I mean, get it, Thing Lizzie, honestly. Like, go for it, dude. Like, if you're gonna play it anyways, you know, and it's... You got everything set up, go for it. There's lots of information out there nowadays to get set up on streaming. Like, it's fairly simple, it's simple to stream, it's just a matter of, like, you know, get everything set up and all that jazz. You don't want them to know your ancient secrets? Well, then you... Then you can't stream- I don't know what you want from me, man! <laughs> you're either gonna stream and get it or you're not. I mean, you know, you gotta give away your tech if you're gonna do it. You're gonna stream. Snarf, that death counter would be ridiculous. Just put a mask layer over your stream so they can't see what you're doing. What's the point? Your delivery driver has left the store. You would think getting pizza at 11.30 p.m. would be way easier. I don't know. What pizza places are even open that late? <laughs> you just mask your old stream. What's the point of streaming? Dominoes? Fries and dominoes. But I mean, yeah, pizza's pizza, right? Pizza's alright. Or Domino's is alright. Pizza gang. Let's go. You could, Thing Lizzie, yeah. Fair enough, Dark Rit, fair enough. Yo, hot dog gang? That's fine, you know, whatever. Snack food gang, that's cool. Probably just a local uh, pizza place snare. Sixty-seven miles away. Dang. And I don't know. The big, the big pizza chains to me just aren't. I don't know. They're not that great. I don't know.
Light. Usually I only have like local pizza or like Papa Murphy's or something like that. Like we finally got a local pizza place that's like actually good. Just like fingers crossed that like, you know, they keep it that way. Exactly, yeah. If I go to like a bigger chain pizza, their pizza tends to be like hella greasy and I'm not about that life. Right? And I mean like... The reason I like the local chain is because they have like this white sauce pizza that you can like do on anything. And it's like super garlicky and it's amazing. Like, my whole family loves it, so... It was half raw, that's a blow up. <clears throat> yeah, like a white garlic sauce, so good. Jeez, this is good. They're super bad. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it's po I mean, it's possible. I don't know. It, it really depends. Like, right? Like, not every place, not every chain is as good as it is like other places, right? It's really gonna vary. 90s Pizza Hut. <laughs> My experience, Pizza Hut has always been like very expensive. We're like round table. Like round table is good. It's just they're so expensive. Ah, close. So. I mean like Godfather's used to be really good, but I haven't been there in like ages. I don't even know if that is like a, a regional chain, I have no idea. I mean, there's some good, there's some good, uh, there's a lot of good pizza places, but it just depends, you know? Yo, Dragonfire, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, pizza places really just depend on, honestly, the management. The management and the owner really make a pizza place. Because if they're looking to skimp on, like, costs and stuff, it's gonna be a blow-up. Selling the hitbox? Yep. We're working on it. We're trying to learn to be good, you know? Yo, Jim's friend, how you doing, dude? Best pizza in Boston? Boston in Houston? I thought you said Boston. <laughs> Best pizza in Boston. Totinos? Oh my god. Come on, man. We can have Totinos, but you gotta be quiet! <laughs> you keep those stacked in your freezer? 
I, I mean, like, frozen pizzas every once in a while are fine. Like, the really, like... Look, sometimes I got that, that like, need for, like, really shitty, like, dollar pizza. Like, that's the only way to, like, explain it, right? The really junky dollar cookies, like the oatmeal ice cookies, super janky. Or, like, the really janky, like, one dollar pizzas. Like, sometimes I'll have a craving for those, but... I don't know. Three minutes, that's kind of lukewarm. Jim's friend, please, you need a new microwave. Yeah, it, it really depends. When it comes to pizza, it really depends on, like, management and the owners. Honestly. Things change in six days? Let's go, Jim's friend. I oh, think that's the same feeling it gives people the, uh... Yeah, the call of the void, as, they, as it's called? Yeah. Let me just eat these, uh... These iced oatmeal cookies and take a couple years off my life. It's fine. The call of bad pizza. Yeah. Has anybody tried, like, the stuffed crust, like, cheese crust, cheese stuffed crust pizza? Those are only so, like, I mean, I say, I say the S word sometimes, too, and I'm like, don't worry too much about it. You know, just keep the, just keep the swearing in general down, that's all I ask for. Uh, but, like, every time I get the cheese stuffed crust pizza, it's always garbage. It's just trash. Yo, Stu! What the raid? What the heck? Yo, let's go, Stu. Yo, thank you so much for the luck. I need all the luck I can get to get through this madness. Well, welcome, everybody. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, stuffed crust pizza is just so disappointing. Have I seen the H yet? No. I have not. Stu, I've got to ask, how did that happen? <laughs> that that sounds horrible, and I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> come on, yeah, right. You don't have to answer, but like, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna speculate on that one, all right? Jeez, Louise. Hopefully, you had a good stream, Stu. Jim's friends. Ah, okay. All right. Fair enough. I like Chicago-style deep dish pizzas. Eat and sneeze. Damn. I don't know. Like, whenever... Whenever I get stuffed crusts, they use, like, the the poopiest mozzarella cheese sticks they can, and it's just awful. Doing Grand Paroled 1 Science? Oh my gosh, dude. Found 50 seconds of time savers? What? Let's go. Heck yeah. Pizza night's still two nights away. Yeah, I'm having pizza on uh, on Saturday myself. So we got a bit. Yeah, 
Yo, let's go. All right, all right, all right. That's pretty heckin' cool. I have not seen a speedrun of Grand Pooh World. Um, I'm actually gonna watch one after I beat this game. But, like, I'm looking forward to seeing, like, what the tech is. <sighs> the Grease? Yeah. Troco Trucks, the Elote Corn Guy, and the Yiro Stand. Yeah, Yiro's, you, you can't go wrong with Yiro's. I haven't had... Yeah, I'll be watching the run on, on stream. And shouting out the runner. So, I don't know who I'm gonna watch, but we'll find somebody. Um, I haven't had elote. Isn't that like the like the cheese, like the Parmesan cheese on the corn, and like I guess like mayo or something? I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Marble cookie brownies, the Brookies. <laughs> Yo, Senwig, how you doing? How goes your WoW grinding outside of grinding the list? A blow-up. The easiest way to say it, Senwig, is a blow-up. Link Dead has already passed me twice on two characters. <laughs> I I play like I play WoW like maybe once or twice a week, dude. <laughs> oh. I'm busy doing other stuff. I'm trying to make time for it, but blow up, man. You're two days clean? Four mad kills, still no gloves? Yeah. You'll get there, Sunwig. I believe in you, Dragonfire. I don't know if you're trying to get clean from WoW or, or what. I mean, honestly, stopping playing WoW if you, like, are kind of, like, addicted to it is hard, for sure. You only need three more items and you're done with T4? Let's go, dude. Heck yeah, nice. But now, my druid is still... I'm only level 46. Um, I've got a long way to go on my druid. Because stopping would be hard, yeah. Oh, Dragonfire, you can't substitute it for another game. <laughs> oh. I've never heard of Tandy Girl. What is Tainted Grail about? Yeah, pretty much. Unfortunately, that's going to be like the next six months, Senway, because then that's until the next uh, update comes out, I think. Or whatever, however many months it is now. So, probably just like level and alt at this point, if you have nothing better to do. Or finish grinding like reps and stuff. enough. I got what you were trying to say, Sunwig. Yeah, it's been, uh, last... So today was pretty cool. It was, like, mid-80s. But starting over the weekend, it's gonna, we're gonna go back to the high 100s. So I'm not looking forward to that, but... Today was pretty cool. You got sunburn on your face going for a walk in the morning? I mean, Jim, Jim's friend, that's like... It's like peak sun hours, man. Yeah, we got a, we got a little bit of a, a little bit of break, yeah. I mean, I tend to go walking, like, right after stream, so, like, 
from five years or from like 5 a.m. until like, you know, six or seven, right? So, you know. Do I like danger noodles? Um, I mean, they're okay. I'm not a fan, no. <sighs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a pet snake. You're gonna try two blocks? Yeah, I know, like, the first time if I go out on, like, a walk, a walk, like, in the daytime, I'm definitely gonna have to wear sunscreen, especially because my head. My, my perfectly crisp dome is gonna get burned like heck. So I gotta make sure I have sunblock on deck. You have a nope rope? So badly once uh, your knees were practically locked in place. Ooh, that feels real bad, Dark Red. I've only I've gotten sunburned really bad when I went to a um, a football game, and for some reason my idiot self didn't think to put on sunscreen. I don't think. So I just baked for three hours in the sun. It was terrible. I knew it was a mistake. Her name is Charlotte. Don't bring out, don't bring up Charlotte's web. Come on, come on. What are we doing here? <sighs> the deep cuts. We were really talking about Charlotte's web in 2021. How old is that story? Isn't this story, like, mega old? Yo, LCC! How you doing, dude? said Tanny Grill, you thought it was uh, some Fate Stay Night stuff? Fate Stay stuff? I need to get back into Fate Stay stuff. Let's see. It's a roguelike dungeon crawler, but the dungeon is a haunted forest. That sounds pretty cool. That was a janky death. Yeah, I mean, when, when, when stuff in Super Mario World is moving up, uh, the hitboxes get real weird. I mean, I would watch Fate Zero Dragon Fire. Skip Fate Stay Night. Just skip it. Don't even bother with it. You're gonna hate it. Like everybody, like everybody hates it. <laughs> but Fate Zero is really good. I would start there and probably just never watch anything else. <laughs> I haven't really watched any of the other um, series. Like I was watching Apocrypha, but. Kind of fell off. I need to see Heaven's Feel. Fate Stay Night is the one you got on DVD. I mean, you can watch it on DVD, man. I'm just saying, go into it with low expectations. <laughs> to be fair, go into it with really low expectations. You're thinking, oh yeah, I think this low? Lower. Lower them down. Ground floor, baby. Don't go on with high hopes. Yeah, I need to watch Heaven's Feel. I remember playing through the route on the VN, but... I haven't seen the movies. I was waiting for them to finish up, so now that they're finished up, I can actually go and watch them. <laughs> Do 
DVDs now in format. I mean, yeah, kind of. Oh yeah, the visual novel is way better. For sure. man this level's ridiculous but i mean at the same time like i'm learning to play this on a hitbox now versus a controller so like it's a little different it's not a little different it's a lot different I mean, probably. I don't know what, like, the max quality of, like, DVDs could be up to. Yeah, I mean, well, doesn't Netflix support, like, downloading shows so you can watch offline? So, I mean, couldn't you just download the shows and then watch them offline later? Or whatever? I thought they did. So that way you wouldn't have to stream them, you know? I mean, as long as, of course, you know, you don't have, like, a data cap, but, like, you know, you can just download the series and then watch it offline and not have to worry about buffering issues or anything like that. <sighs> you can do that with a lot of movies. I know I did that, like, when I was out, like, um, trucking and stuff. I would, uh, I would download shows so that, like, whenever I was, like, not driving, I could watch them. And not have to worry about, like, having poopy internet or something. Yeah, buffering sucks. Buffering sucks a lot. Well, I used to- I used to work for a warehouse. I wasn't, like, a truck driver. I didn't have, like, like my Class A license or anything like that. I just drove, like, a 22-foot, like, box truck. 22 to 26 feet, you know? Baby truck driver, yes. Yo, Sackett, how's it going? Did I beat RE2? No. No, RE2 is going to take a hot minute because I got to play through as uh, Leon and then play as, uh, as Claire. Like U-Haul, well we had like our, we had our own trucks, but we also used U-Haul and Penske trucks. You're a dispatcher for an over-the-road trucking company? Let's go. Is that the job you were talking about, Dragonfire? So you did it in getting it, yeah?
Ah, uh, okay. All right, fair enough, Dragonfire. Yo, cool guy, dude, how you doing? I'm fine with ads, I'm fine with buffer, but when ads buffer, I suffer. <laughs> Your dad's trying to get a new job? It's, man, it's a rough market, it really is. I wish your dad the best of luck. Your hours are going up. That's really good, Sakin. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, let's go. You're a friend who drives delivery for UPS and during Christmas they rent you haul trucks? Yes. Yes, they do. Yo, keep up the good work, Sakin. Heck yeah. Ads don't have a 160p option. Yeah, ads will load perfectly fine at 1080p, but then like you get to the stream and it just it can't do it. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean. Driving a box truck wasn't bad. It's just you learn that roads aren't made for trucks. <laughs> like, at all. And people are idiots. Like, confirmed. You can cut off so many times as a driver, as driving a truck. It's actually ridiculous. You just, like, you just give people room, and if they cut you off, whatever. Like, you know, don't even worry about it. I always did like the six car length rule just in on the freeway just always leave that space because I don't need that much space but if somebody is going to cut me off they're going to cut me off whether I have one car or six. Uh, Tunes you can only do it every so often. Jim's run. Thank you. I don't blame you, Dragonfire. Yeah, I mean, you definitely see some crazy stuff when it comes to, like... Transporting uranium and military intelligence. <laughs> it all makes sense now. The, uh, what is it called? A, uh, Secret Service Agent Kaku Shell. <laughs> Good job, Mr. President! Oh, yeah. No, for sure, like... To transport uranium or something, like... You'd have to have, like, stupid clearance. Or, like, stupid extra licenses. It'd be dumb. My cover persona's overnight Twitch streamer. <laughs> it's all coming together. When I go to sleep, Secret Service agent Kaku Show wakes up. And gets to work. Part of the CIA. <clears throat> that would be pretty crazy. Kaku CIA, yeah. That'd be that'd be really crazy. What a mad hours. I would literally be a sleep rage. Still there, the block is still there. <laughs> yeah, 
Your dad once hauled the load for the government. It was just actually just due to proximity to Langley. Yeah, confirmed. Rode an Indian scout motorcycle during post Jim Crow South transporting actual military intel. Dang. Okay. That's pretty metal. TF2 scout carrying that uh, that double barrel sawed off shotgun. <laughs> I used to play I used to play scout a whole bunch in TF2. Scout and soldier were my go tos in Team Fortress 2. That was the play. Them, them, them were the plays. Them were the plays. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Not gonna lie, pretty intense. Ugh. Holy heck! Ah, man. Trying to get your head back in the game for this type of, like, play is hard. Spy, Medic, and Pyro. This level, this level's insane. This level's actually insane, and, like... Me swapping controllers halfway through it probably wasn't the greatest decision. But it is what it is. Yo, Moraz, how you doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. Barb, come on! Barb is like cackling somewhere, you know? Just straight laughing with two Fs. Somewhere out there. Barbara's pulling his hair out playing 4v4 Black Forest. I don't know what that is. What is 4v4 Black Forest? I'm way out of the, like, loop when it comes to, like, newer video games. He plays Age of Empires 2 sometimes? Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. Watching somebody play your game, like... He's just going, you fool! Probably happens a lot. Finish the stage? Probably not, TJ. Get the midway? I freaking hope so. I would love to get the midway. It'd be so nice. Ah, uh, okay, so Black Forest is a map on it. Okay. Remember the name? Bessie, Bessie Stringfield? That's crazy. I can't imagine riding with like... That, that would be super stressful. 
Like, holy heck. Carrying intel and you're just on a motorcycle? That'd be... That'd be crazy. <clears throat> that'd be actually crazy. Come on, let's get it. You think about buying a motorcycle? I mean, that would work, right? I mean, I would personally never drive a motorcycle, but... Like, that's just definitely a personal thing. There's a pretty low traffic freeway and off hours that can take up to their to their place. Yeah, no, for sure. That's that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> it's just like if you. It's just it's just super scary that like. With an a with a motorcycle, if you get in any sort of accident, good luck. You know. That's like the biggest thing, right? Helmet and plates, yeah, definitely. Um, I've never really cared for micro motorcycles, sack it. Like, personally, just from, like, a personal perspective, I've never really cared for him. I mean, if you're riding any sort of, more like, motorized vehicle, I would definitely recommend wearing a helmet. <laughs> or even just on a bike in general. 1952 for the Charlotte's Web? Dang. Dang! That's, that's old school.
Well, yeah. But I mean, like, if I ever ride a bike or anything, I wear a helmet for sure. Like... It only takes, like, one fall to really mess you up, you know? So, I, I would definitely wear at least a helmet, like... Yeah, I know a lot of people are like, but I look stupid with a helmet on. It's like, I'd rather look stupid than dead, you know? <laughs> so... Oh, I'm trying to put on some music to like help this grind. But yeah, I mean, like, if you like motorcycles, it's fine. There ain't nothing wrong with that, you know. Yeah. Because, I mean, like... Crashes on bikes or anything like that really doesn't take much. You know? Yo, pet the dog. Let's go. Ugh. Really? like so done with it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like I don't mind driving But like, yeah, I don't think I'd ever drive a motorcycle, personally. Yeah. Like, some places, like, public transportation just isn't very reliable. Twenty six lanes down. Holy hackeroonies. I don't think we have anything that big here where I'm at. That's pretty crazy though. Dang, twenty six lanes, holy crap. That's pretty nuts. That's your biggest? Yeah. No, for sure. It's 
freaking crazy though, man. 13 lanes on both sides? Holy crap, dude. Call the pipelines in the east side. <laughs> That's crazy huge. Two lanes are toll only? Yeah. And it's still 11 lanes, right? Oh, four lanes of feeder on each side? Okay. Uh, yeah, what's maintenance? Why would you ever maintain that road? It must be a nightmare when they have to do maintenance on it, though. Well, they probably don't do anything until it's a pothole. If it's anything like California, yeah. Straight 10 years? Holy crap. One big wide luxury lane. The only road that gets solid uh, maintenance is the toll road. Well, yeah, because they just block the toll road off and then do maintenance on it, right? <laughs> I know a freeway they were working on here. It was shut down for like five or so years. It was pretty crazy. Now they want to do another one, like that's very close to it. And like, it's gonna be an absolute disaster. Like, it's gonna be super bad.
Road construction in Minnesota just sucks. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, Sagat. Well, I'd, I'd hope so. <laughs> Stuff blocked and no one's working on it. Yeah. I'm too wide. Oh yeah. Engineers in general. Yeah. Engin doing engineering is very difficult. It's a lot of math. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Engineering is a very difficult, like, profession to get into. Like, you really gotta know what you're doing. Gotta move that gear up. Dispenser going down. Teleporter here. You remember playing this game uh, 100% positivity? Yeah. I mean, that's where I'm at. I'm on the last level. I'm almost free. <laughs> you keep fighting the fight. Your dad knew all the secrets. <laughs> Is your dad Barb? I mean, even being a programmer, you know, like... There's a lot to it. Hold up for clapping Mario. Does Barb have kids? Not to my knowledge. I'm just memeing at this point, second. Yeah, they're the ones that bullied me in high school and shit, man. Finally getting my revenge. played the game fully? No. This is my first playthrough of it. Uh, I mean, this between Barb and his wife. Second. Or Barb and his partner. <laughs> no, most of the games I'm playing in the, uh, in the Kaizo, in the Kaizo quest of positivality. Um... I've never seen anybody play, so. I haven't seen anybody play it, no speedruns, none of that, so. Alright, hopefully I'll be enlightened. Hopefully the secret is freedom. Oh, 
Also, please don't spoil it if it really is. Like, we'll get there when we get there. I know the, the battle, the battle is long, but we'll get there. Yeah, the secret is the friends we made along the way, right? <laughs> Why are we saying Barb is a monster? Barb is a monster. What the heck? You're someone's kid? I hope so, cool guy. Unless you're like some like extraterrestrial being or something. Or you're like a tyrant. I don't know. Maybe you're some umbrella project and like, I just got out of the tube. Positivality. Come on. Chill out. Test you, baby. I think I'm a clone now. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Weird Al always makes a comeback. Word Al never left. Who is Barb? The person who made this game. Do you think Grant? Do you think uh, Grand Pooer made this game? Positivity. <laughs> I made this. Weird Al is one of a kind, you know? Uh, no, I don't have a VR headset or anything like that. What am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna be right back. BRB, everybody. Yeah, I'll take that unicorn horn. <laughs> Please. Be right back, everybody. I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, I get stretch on that stuff. So BRB, back with more of whatever this is. <laughs> Magic the Gathering, let's go, dude.
<laughs> you mean like Super Mario World? Or are we talking like <laughs> this game? <laughs> ah, okay. All right, that makes more sense. I thought you were talking about. I thought you were trolling. <laughs> but this game, I'm like, how old are you? <laughs> Like three, like four years old? Because this game was released in 2014. <laughs> or 2017. Yeah. I, uh, I used to run 96 Exit, so I've done everything in OG Super Mario World. I used to do 100%. 100% speedruns. That was back in the day, though. But yeah. Uh, depends which one you're talking about. You're talking about, like, going through Special World, or... You're two? That's nice. I'm two! Goo goo gaga! But no, uh, which, what, 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 what are you talking about? Pause validity. I'm genuinely curious what you're referring to. When you play the whole game and hop onto a level, the skins change. So after you exit Special World, that's when it happens. Like, you can beat Special World at any time. Like, but once you beat Special World, then it changes to, like, the autumn, like, sprites. It's not when you beat the game. Yeah, it's just, it's just once you, once you go through that last warp out of Special World that puts you back on the, like, Yoshi's Island, at Yoshi's house, then you have the different sprite sets, like, the different overworld sets, yeah. Yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin Goombas, the bullet bills are crows. <sighs> Whatever, what else? There's a bunch of, it, it does a bunch of weird stuff, but I know that like we have to account for that in the speed run because they have like, they like have Mario pumpkin heads. But like also we have to account for that because the Koopas actually move slower than standard Koopas. It's pretty weird. But yeah, I think they move slower than the standard ones. So, we have to take that into account for strats. Because we do... In this speed run, we do uh, Special World about halfway through. And then we do... um Top side of World 3, and then World... World 5, World 6, and 7. Hey, at least I think that's the route still, I have no idea. Yeah, I remember playing, like, Magic the Gathering and stuff on, like, old consoles where it wasn't really, like, actually playing Magic. It was kind of just, like, <laughs> you just summon monsters and overrun your opponent. There's no cards involved, right? <sighs> Battle Mage. I don't think I've ever played Battle Mage. I know I played one where you could play as like Garuk and stuff. You just see how, you just summon like Llanowar else, and then just overrun them to death. Have I played SMB three? Yeah, I was a uh, I was learning to speedrun it about a year and a half ago, but it ended up falling off because uh, I didn't really have time to put into learning it anymore. But I was intending to learn how to go fast in that game, yeah. Maybe one day, I guess? <clears throat> well, it looks better, yeah, but the... The original version has its own appeal. Usually, like, the NES version runs faster. Like, there are definite advantages to playing it on... The Nintendo version versus the All-Star version, but I mean, if you're just casually playing through it, definitely play the All-Stars version. 
There's no reason to play it on Nintendo unless you, like, really want to. Right. Get SMB3 on Game Boy Advance? That's really cool. I didn't even know SMB3 was on Game Boy Advance. That's actually pretty tight. Then again, like, I've never actually played the, um... Super Mario World game on, uh... Game Boy Advance either. That game is just so different, you know? Like, ha having the ability to play as Luigi and everything. Yeah. Did you come back from a Grand Poo to play Grand Poo World? Sure. There are three whistles in SMB3? Yeah. Yeah. Super fun. That sounds pretty baller, man. That sounds pretty heckin' cool. Chicken tacos with regular beef taco seasoning? I think it'd be fine. I don't think there's any, like... I don't think there'd be any problem with that, right? So, yeah, no, for sure, Dragonfire. I remember that. I remember watching a movie called, um, I can't remember. It was like Game Master or something like that. It was this kid, like, who was like a savant at playing video games. But, uh, basically, that's where I learned about the whistle for SMB3. The wizard, yeah. That's where I learned from the about the whistle in SMB3. Because they broke out, like, the brand new game straight from Japan, Super Mario Bros. 3! You know? Yo, Skybill's petting the dog. <sighs> petting the dog, petting the dog! Lily needs the scratches, yeah! Pet the dog, pet the dog! Yeah, Lily Lily is always hanging out beside me. She uh She wants to be like super close for those scritches. The Tanuki and Bowser fight, fly to the left, Bowser won't spit fire. What a happy puppers, yeah. I've never, like, with the Bowser fighting this in B3, I'm usually trying to go in there with fire because the fight really like, regularly takes so long to do. All right. Are you trying to get Bowser to, like, crush down? Nope, she's just excited, uh, realist Jose. I'm <laughs> having a stroke.
That's a that's a safe that's a pretty safe bet, chicken noodle. What's the hardest Mario game? That's subjective, I feel. I'd probably say Lost Levels or SMB2 Japan, right? But Lost Levels is probably going to be your hardest Mario. That'd be my opinion. Because that game was meant to be a punk. That game was so hard, they gave us... Uh, they gave us uh, Doki Doki Panic with a Mario reskin because they thought it would be too hard. Hyper 6. Yo, Off, how you doing? I didn't play Animal Crossing until the, uh, the one on the Switch came out. I'm upset about that. Animal Crossing is a cool game. Yo, Bunny Link, how you doing? You know, living the dream in Grand Pooh World. Yo, thanks, Off. Hearts, hearts, hearts and all that. Still trying to get used to the hitbox, especially in, like, harder games. So, like, this is really the, uh, the test here. For like getting better at it. I'm excited for Mario Golf tomorrow. I'm about to be cracking at that. I'm so excited that releases like when I start my stream. <laughs> I'm super happy about that. Let's go. Ugh. Yeah, I wish I got to play Animal Crossing earlier. And also, Chicken Noodle, obviously you won that bet, duh. Uh, if I had to play Animal Crossing earlier, I think that would have been really cool, but... Uh, tomorrow night for me, yes. It comes out tomorrow at 9 p.m. for me. Because it's Thursday at 9. Midnight Eastern, right? You think you have beats for Mario Lost Levels? It's a hard game. It's like legit hard. It's supposed to come out on the 25th. Tomorrow's the 24th. You know. So I actually had it wrong in my head too. I thought it was coming out on a Saturday morning for me, but. Yeah, the win level. There's a lot of pretty difficult levels in uh, Lost Levels. I remember playing through it like for the first time and it was just it was brutal. It was gross. I don't think I had the recording, but I wish I did. Test dummy animal. Test any item from Animal Crossing. It was so cool, you can only get it from an igloo. Huh. Yeah, my first experience with Animal Crossing was New Horizons. I played that for like... Like two months straight. <laughs> I didn't really do anything crazy in the game either. Like, I definitely want to go back and check it out. Because I like, I like Animal Crossing a lot. It was this weird triangle thing. Huh. That's weird. But I think if I were to play again, I would definitely just time travel. This is the first time through I wasn't time traveling. And I feel like that'll speed everything up, right?
But Animal Crossing is definitely a chill game. Another one I need to play more of is Stardew Valley. Like, I really haven't given that game a chance. Like, that game is super relaxing, too. A raffle, a raffle Sia pops up? I don't know who that is. It's really good for the first two years and it becomes really boring. I mean... I feel like games like Stardew Valley and stuff are kind of like, you know, what you make of it, right? The game is definitely what you make of it. <laughs> but I think I, I do want to try and play through it at some point. I think it'd be really cool. It's a huge red flower that uh, grows in jungles. It smells like rotting flesh to attract flies for pollination. Yeah, okay. That tracks. All you gotta do is like mix durian with that and I think you're killing it. Just <laughs> get some durian in there. I really wish the music didn't, uh, reset. That's, like, my only gr real gripe with this game. Like, not having a retry system, whatever, right? I can deal with that. Having to hear the same five seconds of the song every time is unbelievable. It's driving me slowly insane. Yo, what's up, meow? I wish, dude. You know, I wish I could just go through and just body every freaking, you know, Kaizo hack known to man. Jeez, I wish. Not how that works, though, unfortunately. <sighs> Yo, thanks. Dang, that thing is huge! That flower is huge! That's actually like scary huge. What the heck? I didn't think it was that big. What the heck? You have the best advice? Yeah. <laughs> Sage advice. Oh man. This makes me want to play on controller so bad. You don't even know. You don't even know! I want to play, play on controller and get like some solid attempts in, but like, I know that's blow up. Defeats the purpose of me getting a hitbox. And like making it, right? What does the wheel have for options? Do exclamation point wheel. Um, a lot of those are still up, but. Couple things have gone off. Like, uh, Clamato's currently out. Circus Peanuts is out. I need to update it, but there's a couple things. In general, that's what's on the wheel. 
Just be a task to do the right inputs at the right time. Beep boop boop. Beep boop beep boop. Right. Figure it out, you show. Right. Yeah, just do all the right input. Just do the thing. Why didn't I think of that? Could have had a V8 this morning. Unbelievable. So simple. Just do the thing. Mind is blown. Really wish somebody would have told me that earlier in life. You think you're immune to wasabi? I wish. <laughs> Sabi messes me up. <laughs> like, I get that sinus clear thing going on. <sighs> like, that sinus clear is, like, definitely why I like, um... Like, wasabi peas and stuff. I, I don't know whether that's lucky or unlucky. I mean, technically nothing, right? If you invite a guy friend over for a barbecue, what should you do other than barbecue? Uh, you can play video games, you can play a board game, you can play... I don't know. You can watch stuff. Get mud wrestle. I don't. I don't know, man. What are you guys like doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, oil wrestling. I mean, that's yeah, that's a thing. You can watch airplane while jumping out of an airplane. Don't call me Shirley. I mean, it really depends on what both interests you, right? Like, what interests me isn't the same as, like, you know, you and your friend, right? Friend or whatever, right? Golf and drink beer? That sounds pretty baller. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, figure out, figure out nuclear fission. That's what you're doing pretty much the, uh, the entire, the whole weekend. Yo, let's go, Sky. Let's go. That's basically my life starting tomorrow as well. Mario Golf Gang. If you ever want to get some games in Sky, let me know. We can play some golf. If anybody wants to play Mario Golf, I mean, hit me up. I'm always down for golf. Yo, pet the dog. I'm booked up tomorrow with L Dad, but after that, well, that's like super early in the morning. Doing putt putt top golf and Mario Golf. Let's go. I haven't done. <laughs> I'm doing Mario Golf like a lot. Lily, 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 do get the scratches. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. No. Medieval Times Friday, let's go. Bring in a cooler full of craft beer. Let's rock. I wish. I want to go to like a uh, like a rena renaissance fair sometime soon. My partner just got her second shot, so we're waiting a couple weeks, and she's fully vaccinated, so we'll both be good. We can go hopefully do something. Still wearing a mask everywhere, but to be less concerned about it, right?
Because I'm not going to lie, I like the fact that I haven't gotten sick this year. Like, haven't gotten a cold or anything like that. Like, I'm really happy about that. Yo, let's go, Trisha. Um, I think you could type in... <sighs> Is it? Hold up. I think it's a friend code. Hold up. I should have a command for this. God, I have too much stuff on my desk. There we go. There's my switch friend code. I'm not gonna lie, I really do want to go like real life golfing. Yeah, anybody's free to add me on Switch. I don't, I don't mind. I'm gonna be playing a ton of golf. Yo, cool, cool, cool. Gosh, dang it. We're so close. I'm trying to think of, like, what do you even have to do going forward? I know it's a double shell jump, but I don't know what's after that. I, like, legitimately don't remember. <sighs> Yo, that sounds hecka fun, Sky. That sounds pretty baller. What is it in real life? I mean, really cool graphics, but really poopy RNG. Yeah. Pretty cool game. <sighs> yeah, RNG in IRL. RNG in outside is, uh, is pretty garbage. Not gonna lie. Yeah, man, we had this thing in our and outside recently called a, a pandemic, and it sucks because we didn't have enough priests on the you know in the game to uh, make sure that it didn't happen. Not enough priests. We didn't have enough healers. You know, really sucks. So yeah, we all do uh well the quarantine. Really lame. Our outside sucks, you know. The game outside sucks, man. <sighs> it was a fire scent. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have we didn't we weren't able to find any tanks or healers, so it was just a blow up. Sucked. Yeah, I mean we're thankfully we got enough healers now, so they finally got the antidote working. It's pretty cool. If you take the antidote, it buffs you for like ten years. To uh it buffs you to 10 years and gives you, like, a 91% chance to resist it. It's pretty cool, dude. Should go, everybody should go get that, uh... They call it a vaccine? Most people call it a, an antidote, though. What's up, Kiss Socks? How you doing? Yeah, cool guy. That was real. That was real, man. I think that was the, uh... The one going into Wrath, maybe? Or was that the one going into, um... Uh, Burn Crusade. But yeah, no, it got really weird. Sudden weather changes? Oof. Hopefully you feel better. Headaches are the freaking worst. Well, there's that, but there was also another event that happened. Dragonfire. Did we finish Chaos Mario yesterday? We did not. It's 3 a.m. for you? Yeah. 
Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, car definitely got out of control. Yeah, people stop believing in healers. Yep. Pretty bad, man. And then when they take damage, they're like, oh, where's the healing? I think it, I think it happened on one of the pre-patch things. It got pretty bad, too. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was the... I don't know, but I know that I know the car thing. Yeah, was out of control, and that's very true. The car thing got wild. Well, the, uh, what happened to my understanding was, is that it was put on a hunter's pet and the hunter didn't want to deal with it. So they dismissed the pet in the fight. And then when they got back to town, the main city, they released their pet and the pet stole the debuff. And the debuff was basically that if you're next to somebody every so often, it will spread. And if you're in a highly populated server, that's a disaster, because it goes to guards, it goes to everything. It's an absolute disaster. And I guess like they like ended up setting up uh, like quarantine zones, like in nearby areas where like people were like curing the disease before you could come in. Yeah, it was actually, it was really interesting. Yo, Silver Fox, how you doing? Yeah, it's it's really cool. That's why a lot of like pandemic researchers like use that for like insight on like kind of how people would deal with it. It didn't work too well, right? But yeah, the, the damage over time effect like killed you after a certain time, you know, because it was dealing damage over time. So there's just so many bodies in like main cities. It was a mess. Yeah, it's like, it's a really cool thing that like, you know, this is how people react to certain situations, you know, but it was really weird. It was really cool and really weird. Right. But then, uh, you know, we had a real pandemic and we failed miserably. At least the U.S. did. <laughs> but uh, you know enough about that, right? I mean, I'm, you know, I can't speak for the rest of the world. I just saw how we did, you know? You know, I can't, uh, yeah, I can't really comment for the rest of, you know, what other people did, you know. So I feel like, I feel like Korea took it pretty okay. I don't think they had, a, like, a super bad time with it. At least South Korea, anyways. But then again, like, wearing masks and stuff in their culture is kind of expected. Whereas here in the U.S., everybody's like, this thin, this thin piece of cloth is infringing on my rights! Yet they still somehow wear seatbelts in their cars and wear shoes, stuff like that. Well, just, just culturally, right? If you're sick or not feeling well, you wear a mask. Makes sense. That helps a ton. Like, even in Israel, where vaccination started, well, they had 100 infections in one day. I mean, I'm not going to be surprised if it picks back up here in the U.S. Get vaccinated. Holy crap, dude. Get vaccinated for the people who can't get vaccinated, okay? 
people who have immune system problems, kids. Well, in the U.S., kids age 12 to 15 can get vaccinated. Right now. Um, below that, though, it gets weird. And, I mean, that's, that's just how it works, right? Children are different than adults when it comes to immune systems and stuff. So you have to make sure it really doesn't have, you know, adverse effects. You get your first on tw 23rd July? Let's go, Kiss Ox. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, your first cover shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, I got the Pfizer vaccine. I'm fully vaccinated. My second shot sucked. Not gonna lie. Two days, I was down. But... Would I rather be, like, just tired and... You know, sleep for two days? Sure. Way better than getting COVID. A doctor vaccinated a nine-year-old girl? I'm in trouble for that. You get a shot number two in two days? Let's go. Good shit, cool guy, dude. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, no, definitely you're gonna get in trouble for that. It seems like a really stupid mistake to, uh, to do. Like, as a medical professional, you know? Was it a doctor or was it a nurse? Or even, like, not, maybe even a nurse assistant. Or medical assistant. I can see a medical assistant making the mistake. If a doctor made the mistake, that's really bad. Kiss Ox in, a. Uh, in the U.S., they checked my ID, like, three times before they gave me the shot, and I do not look like I'm under 12, do I? <laughs> they seriously, they seriously checked my ID, like, three times before I got mine, on both shots. Shave your beard? Look at I'm not doing that. I'm not sleeping on the couch for, like, a month. No thanks. My partner straight up told me if I shave, because I shave my head, if I shave the beard straight to the couch, I can't come back until it's grown back. I will look like a straight baby. How long will this stream be? Uh, do exclamation point schedule. Pause validity. My general stream schedule is eight hours a day. So from 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time to uh, 5 a.m. So another like four or five hours. Ugh. What time is it? 12? Yeah, five hours. Another five plus hours. Tommy Kaku Pickles. Yeah, I stream, I stream every day but Monday, so I'm usually here for... It's 3.09 a.m.? Yeah, I stream till 8 a.m. your time, so... Look at it, positivality, if you're tired, go to sleep, my dude. Don't, don't try and stay up, you know, you can, you can lurk if you want or whatever, get those channel points, get those wheel rewards. But like, other than that, yeah, don't stay up for my stream. <laughs> Like, I get it. I stream, I definitely, I stream really late, so I, I know, right? If you're used to working like graveyard and stuff, like I am, then it's fine, but. A lot of people tap out, you know, about one or two. That's when chat gets pretty quiet, usually. Like, around 9 p.m. and then, like, 1 or 2, chat gets quiet, and then, like, 3... 3 o'clock, morning people start waking up, and it starts picking back up again, but yeah. 
Do you use to stay up days at a time? I cannot stay up. So like on my on my subathon thing, right? When I get to 200 subs, then we'll uh I'm gonna do a 24 hour stream, and that's gonna be beyond brutal. That's gonna kill me. Because like I'm an old guy. <laughs> I'm gonna really have to like it's gonna be it's gonna be pushing it to do it, but we're gonna do it. It was really a mistake. He toyed around and played with the girl for a bit first and then actually did it. After the shot, he cried and apologized too. Like, I don't. That doesn't make any sense. Grandpa Kakuchan? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an old guy. Grand Pooh World took all my hair. Yeah, I couldn't imagine staying up for five days. Like,. You start getting weird after so long, right? I know Brams calls me Gramps. <laughs> I am Grandpa Kakuchan. The longest I've stayed up is like... What are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? Burger? Gosh. Not nah, Alvin. Yeah, the longest I've stayed up is like 30 hours. And even then, I've, like, I died. Yeah, not sleeping for days is pretty unhealthy. That's true. That's very true. Get to sleep. Sleep is good for you. Yeah, I mean, like, if anything goes wrong with that vaccine, that pretty much opens up that person to malpractice. It's, like, so blatant, right? <sighs> but yeah, when it comes to kids, like, kids' immune systems are different, so... That's, like, the same reason you can't give kids, like, um, certain, like, pain meds and stuff. It just reacts differently with them. It's harder to... It's also harder to, harder to get the dosage correct, because it just varies so much. Ugh. Yeah, definitely get your sleep. I mean, sleep is good. Get your sleep. When you grow up, you're never gonna sleep. I mean, I wish I didn't have to sleep, but sleep is pretty cool. If I, like... If I didn't have to sleep, but I could sleep, right? If I chose to sleep, I could sleep, but I don't I don't need to sleep. Uh, I definitely would take that. You die if you don't sleep? Yeah, you will. You'll go insane. You gotta give your, you gotta give your brain time to, like, kind of... Figure stuff out. And, and actually, it need, your body needs to repair in that time period, too. That's another thing. Like, if you just don't sleep ever, you know, like, injuries are going to take longer to heal. Because that's, like, that's your body's, like, rest, figure it out, repair time. You like sleep when you're not watching streams? Yeah. Oh, you definitely do, Bunny Link. Yeah. It start, you start going really loopy. At a certain point. It's not good. This Kaiser Block Barb! I'm disappointed in you. But yeah, cool guy. You got another uh you got another 16 years before you grow up if you're two. You got a long way to go. Yeah, you'll you'll start hallucinating. Yeah, you'll start like taking micro naps. Like your brain will just shut off for like periods of time. It actually gets it gets really dangerous. Like, because there are people who like stay up for like an extended period of time, and they're like you know operating a car or heavy machinery. And like if you if you have points in your day. Where there's like 30 second minute in, in like increments or whatever that you can't remember. That's bad. You know? 
And I'm not, I'm not equating it to like, you know, if you're driving to work in the morning and you like autopilot and you get to work and you're like, whoa, what happened, right? That's just your brain basically like, if you've done it so many times, um, you're still alert, right? It's just, it's not new. So your brain doesn't make a memory of it, essentially. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing out of the ordinary, right? Because I've definitely done that driving to work like really early in the morning. And there's like no traffic on the road or anything like that. And you get to work and you're like, wow, when the hell did that happen? Right? I've done that. <clears throat> well, I mean, drugs are a whole nother can of worms, right? Yeah, the body cannot repair. Well, it, 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 I would say the body is repairing. It's just at a very, like, slower rate. It's a much slower rate. Yeah, I know what you're, I know what you're talking about. But... Yeah, I'm positive, positivality. I mean, like, just sleep. Like, <laughs> if you sleep normally, right, no matter what schedule you're on, you're fine. All right, you're not gonna start freaking out but if you're like man I'm gonna go five days without sleeping that's a bad idea don't do that there shouldn't be a situation where you need to do that well I mean yeah bunny link yeah stimulants We'll do that. <laughs> let's let's stay away from that um, that talk, though, my dude. Well, hallucinating is a lot of things, right? It could be seeing shadows. It could be seeing something that's not there at all. You could be like, I mean, there's like tricks of the eyes, like mirages. If you ever like been outside on a hot day or something and you like look in the horizon you think like oh wow there's a body of water out there or something it happens a lot like if you're in the desert like you can see that and just like you know your brain making sense of like the heat coming off of stuff that happens i mean there's there's a lot of different things and it's, it's different based on the, the person right it's not Nobody's ever gonna be like, oh, I'm seeing the same thing, you're hallucinating, right? We're in the same stage. That's not how it works. It's your brain basically trying to make sense of stuff and being absolutely exhausted. Or, you know, something else. But in this case, because you're so tired and you're not allowing yourself to sleep, your brain is just going wild. I don't know the the correct like <laughs> you know vent cycle here but Yeah, there can be auditory hallucinations, there can be visual, tactile, so like touch like, have you ever had, like, um, you know, randomly feel like there's a bug on you or something, right? <clears throat> and you check and there isn't? Stuff like that.
I mean, it's it can vary, right? Just don't stay up for five days straight. Like, if you stay up for one whole day, you're probably just gonna be really tired. You're not gonna like freak out or anything, but like, you know, don't make it a habit. You know, it's not healthy, but staying up for 24 hours one day isn't gonna like, you aren't gonna start breaking down and losing your mind and get put in a loony bin, all that stuff. That's not gonna happen, right? Now, if you're like aiming to stay up for like five days, seven days straight, like good luck. That's a whole nother thing. Talk with your doctor. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, talk with your doctor or something. They're probably gonna tell you don't, but you know. <laughs> I don't know why you would even want to. I have no idea, Meow. I doubt you could even stay up for five days straight. Without your body just like, the moment you stop moving, just passing out. I can- I could barely do one. I could barely do 24 hours. Like, like 24 hours is a long time. Yeah, like when I do that, when I do that 24 hour stream, because I know we'll hit it eventually, right? That's going to be a battle. That's going to be a straight battle. I've got to try and get like some stuff in there to like, you know, wake me back up, right? Lots of Super Mario World hacks to play. You got to stay up. Right. The Kaizo Quest never sleeps! Well, yeah, because, like... I'm pretty sure in World War II that was a thing. Like, using... Using methamphetamines and stuff... To perk up soldiers was definitely a thing. Very, very much so. So... Yeah, it's, it's illegal now for a reason. <laughs> also, it's highly addictive. Well, it was also, if I'm not mis mistaken, Bunny Link, it was also an over-the-counter thing that uh, civilians could get. Yeah. So, yeah, it's unfortunate, but, oh yeah, no, for sure, yeah. they found out how bad it was well i mean when you see your soldiers and stuff suffering from withdrawals on where they're not able to get resupplied and stuff yeah it's not good you know but i i think they probably knew the side effects long before years later because i know that like getting supplies to soldiers that were farther out Right? Or that they did that? Well... <sighs> Meow, if you're telling me... That you can make a soldier run... For two days straight without sleep at peak efficiency... Would you not do it? Two days straight. They can march... 80 miles... A day. That's not real, but you know... For civilians? Well, somebody has to be producing your stuff, Meow.
Why is it le why was it legal if it was not tested? I don't know. Why was there's a, there's a lot of like why was cocaine a thing? I mean, cocaine used to be like the cure all. Like back in the day. Like cocaine used to be like a serious medical thing. It's a lack of medical knowledge and just, you know, not understanding. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that's changed nowadays, but you still run into stuff that's like, even though it's tested, right? It's not necessarily safe for you. Meow. <sighs> yeah, we're getting into murky waters on that one. Honestly. Yeah, like workers, workers' rights and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Like, as a, if we didn't, if we didn't like make laws for child labor, you know, banning child labor, you bet your bottom dollar they would still be having child labor. All right, pause validity. Take it easy. All right, let's change the subject, y'all. <laughs> Yo, take it easy. See you later. I'm hoping to get the midway at least. That's all I... Like, if I can get the midway in this level, I'll be excited. Well, I mean, that's, just, that's still the same... Um... That's the same, um... That's the same reason we still have daylight savings time, right? Is because of farming. Which a majority of Americans don't do anymore. So... I say... Personally, I think we should do away with daylight savings time. I think it's stupid. And honestly, all it does is creates um, the amount of heart attacks and stuff that happen due to the time shifts, like going forward, is crazy. There, like the amount of heart attacks is insane. There's like a huge increase in heart attack, heart attack percentage due to that, due to the stress of it. Yo, Zonk, how you doing? Farming Golden RuneScape. Salt farmers rise up. <laughs> farming up that salt, farming it up, farming up that salt, salt. Brothers, brothers in salt.
Is there a way to check better Twitch TV emotes? Um, I do not know. Like, I, I legitimately don't know. I wish there was a way you could just, like, look up and see... Like, what emotes there were, but I don't think you can. You might be able to go to, like, their website and check it out, but... Yo, Isaquala, how you doing today? Yo, thanks for the luck. <sighs> yeah, I'm just trying to figure out this P-Switch throw right now. That's like the biggest thing. I think once I get the P-Switch throw down, it'll be fine, but that's really the, you know, the deal breaker here. hitbox now i mean i'm still working out the kinks i'm gonna be probably for a while probably a month or so until we like get really you know really f like familiar with it like i'm pretty okay with it but like it's gonna take a bit it's not gonna be you know overnight or anything like that like we've been i know we've been in the for like a week but we're a lot better than we were but still needs a lot of practice. Just got to keep playing Kaizo, you know? Even Mario Golf tomorrow. Let's go. I think I need to land... I think the way I'm trying to do it is stupid. I think I need to just end up underneath the spike straight up and down. I think that might be the play. Like, I think that's a way to make it easier, right? Yeah, we're still working out the kinks on hitbox. Um, definitely feels a lot better now that I got the, uh, the cherry switch keys, so... Well, I'm trying to think of different ways to do it, cool guy, right? Because the way I was doing it was throwing it up and to the right off the spike, land on it, then float over to the first platform. But I want to try and do it as is line up with the spike. And then, um... Because there's a coin line there, I want to fall on the coin line. Because I don't- I won't have to go as far over for that. It's just throwing up the P-switch and getting it to a place that I can, like, actually fall on it, right? Just 
Just channel your inner Taz. Believe in the Taz. Yeah, I watched I watched a Taz do Armageddon yesterday. That means it's totally RTA vi viable, right? Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to watch the task because I watched I watched the Armageddon task the other day and that was really cool Not gonna lie, that was pretty sweet Yeah. I saw the task for Brain Age. I didn't see the one for Super Scribble Nuts. There are a lot of tasks that I want to watch. Various dead lions. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. But yeah, can you believe they've added... Since I checked last... There has been 18 additional Kaizo Light Hacks in like two or three weeks. That's freaking nuts, dude. I mean, if I wasn't playing like super hard hacks, I could meow. Come on. Gee. I mean, this hack I've spent, what, 15 streams on? That's just about a month, a straight month of streams, if not more, right? <clears throat> like 15 eight-hour streams. It's pretty crazy, man. No, for sure, Isaquala. I'm definitely, definitely there. Yeah, if there's a way to... They definitely make the tasks really funny. With, like, brain age and stuff. Part honestly is focusing. 
That is like the most difficult part of playing these really hard hacks is like maintaining focus and not going into autopilot. Because I've definitely caught myself going into just like autopilot and just going through the motions and not actually achieving anything. <laughs> the friends we made along the way. But I mean, as my first night back to Grand Pooh World, you know, on Hitbox, expect expectations are pretty low tonight, right? While I would love to get to back to where I was, like, back to, so past the P-Switch, the double jump, after that, I don't remember what's doing on doing going on there, right? But I think I'm doing okay, honestly. Yeah, the double shell jump is kind of something you just like have to get good at. <laughs> you never try to have expectations, yeah. You just gotta have great expectations. I'll never read that book again. <laughs> I like, I don't even remember a lot of the stuff that happened in that book, to be honest. <sighs> Swedish, bur Swedish murder suit, yeah. It's because suit, it, it fit one of the words. That's what's the cool part about it is that like, because of the way it searches for stuff, you can really get away with a lot of dumb stuff, putting a lot of dumb stuff in there. Everybody should have, you know, like, good goals for themselves and stuff like that, right? I think it's healthy to have, you know, goals that you want to accomplish, great expectations, if you will, like Isaac Wallace said. That's fine. Perfectly normal. president or a king maybe yeah I'm not sure how exactly the family feud game like figures out like what it, it wants to or how it picks out like stuff but Your goal is to live underground like a mole and never see anyone.
If you don't have a statue of yourself, you're a failure. Hell, sometimes even failures get statues. All you gotta do is have the money and you can get a statue made of yourself. They just set it in the capital without any, you know, permits or anything. A rock bust of yourself with your teeth? Better get soapstone. And also get some metal caps for your teeth. hi ya! Are you gonna become Jaws? That's a pretty cool goal. Literally become Jaws. From bon the Bond movies. Just bite people. <laughs> With your icy grill. We can call you Tutus. Tutus! All your other teeth are destroyed for biting rocks. I mean... You could definitely just, like, rent a truck and dump a statue somewhere in the middle of the night if you wanted to. Or in the middle of the day, right? You could. Is it illegal? Yes. Is it gonna get taken down in the day? Yeah. But you still did it, right? If you got money to burn, get it. Right, exactly. You can be the president of Idiot Town. So why did you think that would work? Because I'm the president. Just gotta get really dress up in a nice swab suit. Just claim diplomatic immunity. It always works. A statue of Bruce Lee? That's smart. Bruce Lee is a legend. I mean, I would totally get a statue of Bruce Lee. Are you kidding me? Holy crap, dude. Dio statue. Holy diver! Gone too long in the midnight sea! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. You gotta run- you gotta run a forklift carrying a forklift. Am I alright? No. No, we're playing Grand Poo World. The answer to that question is no, meow. I played Mario 64 Chaos Edition yesterday. Uh, doing this tonight. Like, we're losing it, man. We're losing it. I'm looking forward to Mario, though. Mario Golf, let's go! Mario Golf's gonna be tight. It's just unfortunate because, like, you know, I want to be done with this game, but the only way I'm going to get through it 
is to play it and get more used to hitbox and stuff. So it's really just putting in the time at this point, unfortunately. And I know that's really kind of poopy doo doo, right? But that's really just how it is, unfortunately. And Super, if you were if you were a character in Super Mario Brawl, what would be your special powers moves? Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It's Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I didn't play much Brawl, so. I mean. I mean, being able to throw fireballs and stuff is pretty tight. Yeah, fireball and headbutt. There we go, that's all I need. Fireballs and headbutts. Durian candy breath. I can I can breathe fire after you know eating hot spicy foods. Spinning the wheel, yeah. Dong dong never die. No, I have not. Durian candy breath and pet extravaganza. Yeah, Lily, Lily Borks. Lily Borks that stun you. We're not having Lily Borks here. What are we doing? It's a fighting game with solely mocap fighters. It sounds real bad. Mortal Kombat already had that in the 90s, yeah. Well, Mortal Kombat didn't use mocap. Um, they had actually the characters do the poses and they took like pictures of them like for all the moves they had people basically cosplay as the characters and then do it yeah real human moves yeah they didn't like cgi over them like they didn't catch the motion they just literally took pictures of them in costume and then put it in the game <sighs> Yeah, it was like that real life uh, thing that they were doing.
But I mean, like, fully mocap games, like, seems cool, but also, like, mega janky. I mean, I don't think anybody who's, like, anybody who's playing a fighting game is like, wow, that's unrealistic. As they're, like, shooting lasers and fireballs and stuff, right? Come on. You know? This game looks janky as hell. Oh, this is from Mugen. They have Mario. Like, Mugen, Mugen covered, like, everything. You could put whatever you want in Mugen. Mugen was cool. Because if you ever wanted to see a fight of, like, Brawly versus, like, Ronald McDonald, you could, right? Mugen is mad janky. I agree. There was a total, there was a whole channel called Salty Bets on Twitch. They might still be going, but that like was, that was the meme. He'd go in there and bet points on people. Salty Bets was hilarious. There's a salty bit equivalent for Final Fantasy Tactics? I have not actually seen that. Final Fantasy Tactics Battlegrounds? I have to check it out. See what it's all about. Sounds cool. But, like, I haven't even... I think I've heard of that before, the FFT Battlegrounds, right? But I just, like, I never... I don't think I ever got around to actually, like, checking it out. Hmm. Interesting. So chat can have an effect on the battles.
That sounds pretty cool. It really does sound pretty cool. Hmm. Ah, set me free from this hell. Oh my gosh. We're here forever. We're actually here forever. The final battles against, like, the reigning champions and challenges can be super hype. That sounds pretty cool. I mean, I'll have to try and check it out, but at the same time, like, probably not. <laughs> There's too much other stuff going on. Grinding this level. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm cool with following the rule of, uh, we only play this so many hours a day. Because this is gonna be a blow up. Uh, this is gonna take forever. Alright, so 119, 53, 34. Uh, 34. Okay. We're gonna start a new game. We're gonna use Super Moo World, I guess. Alright, everybody, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back. And we're gonna be back with Super Moo World. We're gonna knock out some easy hacks. Because I'm only going to do this for so many hours a day. Like, four hours a day, I think, is fine. Like, I don't want to do too much more than that. Because it's just, like... <sighs> yeah, Super Mario World. I mean, like, once we finish, like, all the super, like, easy games I got. And then we got, like, Sweet and Sour River Song. Super Cool World, Super World, that kind of stuff, right? So... Yeah, and it won't... I won't fall asleep playing the damn games. Because that's where I'm at kind of right now. Ugh. All right. Be right back, everybody. Hang tight. We'll get set up with the uh, Super Bowl World. <laughs> 